We are with two guys from Unidentified, uh, America's UFO Investigation, I think the title, full title is. But we've got Lou Elizondo, who used to run the Pentagon program, A-Tip, investigating UFOs. And we have Sean Cahill, who was on the USS uh, Princeton uh, during 2004 when there is a Nimitz UFO encounter that has been such a big deal. So first of all, now that the season is done for Unidentified, What's the reaction been like? I think the reception's been a little mixed. I think there's a lot of people that are very excited to to see the information come out and, and offer that, that, that peak of disclosure. But of course, there's still a lot of people that remain very, very skeptical. And we just have to continue to, to chip away at that with information and data. There's been a really large stigma around this subject. And it's something that, that it's going to take us a while to break through. I think that we're doing it, though. There's, From my standpoint, there's been an overwhelming positive response, a great deal of support and wanting to understand what this is about and what people have seen. So I, I'm positive that going forward, we're going to start a new conversation that's going to allow us to really open this up for everyone, not just folks in the military and folks that are that have, have been around installations, but, but regular everyday folks who may have seen something and are afraid to come forward about it. I think that's going to open things up for all of us. All right, thank you. I took a couple questions from the audience, and one of them wanted to know, are you all going to storm Area 51 and if you're going, in what capacity? No, I am not storming Area 51. In fact, um, I would I would advise very much against that. Look, we, I think we've only gotten this far because we are working in a collaborative way with our government friends and colleagues. I, I would not advise trespassing on federal property ever. Um, I think we need to work with them. I think we need to be collegial and collaborative. And I think uh, if, if we only look back for the last year and a half, I think we can see that, that we've achieved a lot through peaceful means. That is, that is very much ill-advised, in my opinion. If we are being visited by something from elsewhere, are they coming here to the planet, just passing through? What do you think? You know, I, I can't even begin to speculate. Um, I don't know. Yes, as most people know, I'm, I'm very much data-driven. Um, for me, it's... Um, it's about the devil of being in the details. And for me to speculate or offer my opinion, it's probably not very helpful. I think, I think we need to collect more data and then let the data speak for itself before we draw any type of conclusions what you know it might, might or might not be. I believe there's a piece of this that's tied up in consciousness. I believe that there's something that's real and tangible that we can possibly someday put our finger on. But I think that like sci as, as science and spirituality need a sort of bridge, and almost a, a corpus callosum but to bring the two halves together. There's a piece of this that we're still missing that I don't think we understand. And I do. I will perseverate on the fact that I think it's going to take all of us together talking about it together. So I, I don't have answers right now, but I have, I have a great deal of questions I think are going to point us in the right direction. Which is great. You all are pursuing the questions and, con and continuing to do that. The final question from the audience is, if an alien spacecraft landed, and they asked you to come on board, would you do it? I would first get permission from my wife. <laughs> Wise. I already got permission from my wife, so I have to have the caveat that they're gonna bring me back. Yeah, but yes. All right, well thanks guys. I mean, are, is there gonna be news coming about a potential second season soon, hopefully? You no, know, one never knows. We'll see. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.